Hi everybody, Kevin here from Sticks and Stones. Welcome back. We're going to do another drawing tutorial today. Uh, since it's December 1st and everybody's got Santa on the brain, I guess I'll draw a Santa today so you guys have a little idea about how to make a Santa. A lot of people say their Santas look like wood spirits and basically if I was carving a Santa, I'd do the same thing. You know, I usually make like a spirit face and then paint him like a Santa. But there are ways to change it up a little bit so you can make it look more like a Santa. For instance, make the face fatter, give them cheeks that are more pronounced, uh, of course, putting a hat on them, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is just do a basic Santa, and uh, I'll give it a little twist and show you how to come up with a pretty neat little idea that you could put your Santa on, make a carving out of it, and you can make this an ornament or a wall hanging, depends on how big you make it, okay? So it's a quick little Santa and a simple idea that we can put into our carving practice. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need to start with a hat. So I'm going to come to my paper here, and we're just going to make... My pen's, pencil's going to work here. Yeah. I'm going to make kind of the appearance of fur, so we're just going to draw a line across like that. You guys see that okay? I'm going to kind of slant it down on the sides. All right. And then the top is just going to kind of sweep over like this. And this would all be, you know, fur. So we'd break it up a little bit in, in the drawing anyway. All right. Now right up here, I'm going to draw a piece of hair that just kind of sweeps down like this. All right. And over here, the edge of his hat. So that's going to be a piece of hair. I want you to think of hair in groups, all right? Like, I'll draw a shape, and then I'll put my lines in. I was explaining this to one of our members. we got our first new member, yay, on the channel. Congratulations to us, yay. And thanks, uh, Jake, for, for buying me a coffee. I highly appreciate it. Make sure you check out the member section for little tutorials I'll be putting in there this week. Thanks again, buddy. If you have any questions, definitely go to Community Center, check out the members area, and let me know uh, what you're having problems with, of it, and I will definitely make sure you get some help. Okay, now, we got the hat going across here. We have a little tuft of hair. What I want to do is come over to the side right here, and I'm, for this one, I'm just going to kind of draw lines like that, all right? And over here on this side, we're going to draw another little tuft of hair, okay? Could be a smaller one, could be a bigger one, but again, draw the shape with a point, and then you can fill your lines in. Now, if you were carving, I would carve here and here, and then with a V-tool or whatever, or a vayner, I would put my hair in, okay? And that's how you can do that. Now, on the top, of course, we know we have... Oops, my light just fell. <laughs> On the top, we have, uh, of course, the pointed hat. So what we're going to do is make a point or kind of a point, all right? And right here on the outside of this hair, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, if I brought this hair a little wider, say, all right, might as well keep it right under his hat. And then started rounding over here, all right? So we're going to draw kind of just by scraggly lines I'm doing here, right? And this would be all hair, okay? And right underneath the hair here, I'm attaching it to. All right, now we have one point here. What I would do was I would come down. I would make, make another point here. And then I would make another point here. Come over here. Now these can be rounded or they can be pointy. But what we're doing is we're putting our stanta on kind of like a star shape. And we would carve the face in here. And then that's the idea. I was going to give you for a little type of uh, ornament. All right. So you can make your hat bigger if you want. But get that star in there. All right, and this right here would be our Santa. And we could paint this any different kind of ways we want. And again, the carving, 
is what would make this whole thing and the paint job. I'm just going around drawing an extra line to insinuate how it painted. All right. So all inside this star is going to be our Santa face. I could even come up here and make it wider if I want. All right. So now we have two pieces of hair. Let's start drawing his facial features. I'm going to come down. This right here would be the center line. I'm going to come down a little bit. Come over here. I'm going to draw one corner. And over here, I'm going to draw another corner. Just like that. Okay, we're going to start eyes there. I'm going to put an eyelid. And an eyelid. Okay. Come straight across here. Right, once you come down to the corner here. Just come straight across, no matter what other line we have down here. Right, because that's going to start a nose. Same with here, in this corner here. Just come straight across. And now we have the beginnings of his eyes, all right? I'm going to make these pretty big. Circle and a circle. Circle and a circle. And then it, inside those, we're going to put a pupil. And we'll call it Ozen Black. playing with all this, these knots I've been collecting along the river. Hands are filthy again. Sorry about that. Thumbs. <laughs> Everything. Always dirty. I even got my winter coat on in my shop today. It's so cold in here. Winter's definitely here. Okay, so right up from here, we're going to draw his eyelid. So I'm just going to bring this up. Come down. And corner that off. Then I'm going to put couple of lines insinuating uh, lashes here. Okay. Same with this corner here. We're going to come up. Come down. Attach it. And draw a couple of lashes. Okay. So now we have the beard here. Going around. Kind of circular. All right. On this side right here, we're going to draw a line down. Keep it pretty wide. On this side under the hair right here, we're going to do the same thing. I'll draw a line down, keep it pretty wide. All right. Up in here, we're going to start his eyebrow. It's going to go under his hair. This eyebrow, not so much, and then go under the hair, but it's a little bit longer. Okay. Now we're going to come down to about here. We're just going to draw a little nose. Or the insinuation of a nose anyway, right? A little bump here. Come over here. Same thing. And let that little bump come up. To form some nostrils here. He's a little... Man, this light won't stay today. Every time I shake my table. Issues. There we go. Now you're good. Okay, see that? Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to come right underneath his nose, alright? And we're going to kind of make a point or a V like that. And that's where we're going to start his mustache. And this mustache is going to come over and up, alright? bring it down attach that line come up same thing here we're gonna go up come down and attach it in the middle and then we're just gonna go right underneath that and make a nice little small lip come up a little bit Attach from the mustache to the mustache here and color that little triangle right there in between and above those. And you have his mouth. So now all this is hair again. This is all going to get blended in. All right. It's all going to be carved. All right. This line is actually just going to be 
cut in with our V-tool. Lines all the way around for beard, okay? And the way we paint him is going to be what makes him look like Santa. And he's a different type of Santa, too. He's not your traditional type of Santa, okay? So I'm just filling those lines in. Just random lines is all they are, all right? And the same with his mustache. The mustache, you know, you could put your lines here, however you're going to do your lines for his mustache, random lines. Okay. Same with these. Just sweep them. The always sweep the direction the mustache is going, though. You know, don't put them straight down on the mustache that's curling up. You can even curl this mustache a little more if you like. All right. And of course, when we would paint him, we would have he would have rosy cheeks here. There'd be a little bit of pink right here. Okay. Blush. You can make his eyebrows a little thicker. Make sure you separate his hat from his hair. You can make his hat a little bigger if you like. You know, go over your drawing, darken in the spots that you think are going to matter so you can see them. All right. Like the hair here. Maybe bring that tuft the hair out a little. You know, whatever you want to do to make them look better before you carve and then go off your finished drawing. Okay. But the idea is this Santa here is going to be inside this star. Okay. If I shade all this outline in. You'll get the idea. And when you carve them and paint them. Now if you see me do some drawings and then you see the carving after I carve it. It looks totally different doesn't it? You can really make with the depths. Uh. Of your cuts make it look totally different than the drawing actually a lot better than the drawing so don't worry if your drawing is not that great this one isn't that great either trust me but uh just trying to give you the idea for a project if you want to try something for Christmas I know we did the little Crescent Santa and I just blasted through the video made a little quick Crescent Santa and uh, he's gone already, by the way. I don't know. Somebody grabbed him. But people love these things at Christmas time, and they're great carving practice. And this is just one way you could do your own Santa design just on a nice little piece of wood. I like to give him some wrinkles up here. Okay. And we can. Drop two lines for his nose. But this right here, you carve him up and you paint him like Santa, and it's a really neat looking thing that you can stick on the tree, okay? Or whatever you'd like. Now you can make this hair really go out, right? Like I said, as big as you want. Uh, you can even extend this beard down past the star here, right? So just trying to throw ideas out there for you, all right? Don't get stuck on, oh, you got to make it just like this because I, I might change this whole thing up in the middle of me uh, carving it, you know. Whatever's going to look better to me is what I would do, you know. So I'll play with my drawing and get what I like, and then I'd carve it. Maybe we'll do one. Okay. Uh, it's as easy as putting your face on a piece of wood cutting it out with the bandsaw like we did with the Crescent Santa and then just going to town carving it up you can also give Santa some nice big eye bags okay a couple of wrinkles to finish them off as you know he's probably going to be tired from all that running all over in his sleigh Okay, so there's a nice little Santa drawing for you. A nice little idea. Put them on a star. This isn't the best star. <laughs> but just trying to keep it on the paper and give you an idea. Star. Stars do have five points, right? So, 
and there you go and that's the idea for today quick little video to give you an idea of a santa that you can make just try to keep it all even for the holidays i'll be coming back soon with the wood spirit video and we'll work on another expression and if you have any comments about anything that you want to draw please put them in the section below and i will see everybody in the next video thanks for watching